When you think of theme parks in the UK, the first names that pop into your head are probably Alton Towers and Thorpe Park. And today we're going to be answering the question, which park should you go to if you could only go to one? In the description there is a contents of what I'll be comparing the two on so you can skip ahead if you need to. First off, we need to talk about the locations of the parks. Alton Towers is located between Stoke-on-Trent and Derby and has links to the M1 which is nearby. And its closest train station is Utoxeter, which has links with many large UK train stations, including London, Newcastle and Birmingham. The rest of the trip to the park can be taken by bus, which runs one service a day. Thorpe Park is located in a much more urban area, being on the outskirts of London. It has very good transport links, with the M3 being very close by, as well as the Staines train station, which has buses out of the bus station, which is a 5 minute walk away, which runs every 15 to 20 minutes. It even has international links, with Heathrow Airport being very close by. So if you're worried about transport to the parks, go to Thorpe Park. So what if you're a coaster lover? Both parks offer a wide range of coasters to enjoy, from some of the industry's best loved manufacturers. Alton Towers offers 10 roller coasters in total, with some of the most well known including the Smiler, Nemesis, Oblivion, Rita, 13, and Galactica. The park recently acquired a new wooden roller coaster for the 2018 season called Wicker Man, and is the only wooden roller coaster between the two parks. Thorpe Park has a fewer amount of coasters, however, they do have a good amount, having 7 currently. These include Stealth, Nemesis Inferno, which is Nemesis' sister ride. Colossus, Saw the Ride, and the UK's only wing coaster, The Swarm. The park you go to based on the roller coasters is down to personal preference, however in my opinion Alton Towers is your best bet for the coasters, as they offer three more and I personally enjoy the coasters there a lot more than those at Fort Park. However, if flat rides are your thing, then it's a totally different story. Alton Towers only has two flat rides, one being a swinging pirate ship and the other being Enterprise, which is the same model as Zodiac at Thorpe Park. Thorpe Park has an amazing 11 flat rides, including as previously mentioned an Enterprise, a Top Scan, a Drop Tower, a Scream and Swing and many more. If you love flat rides then definitely go to Thorpe Park as Alton Towers is severely lacking in them. If you're going on a hot summer's day and want a water ride or two to cool you down, Thorpe Park has you covered, with a total of 5 water rides. These include a Rapids ride, Storm Surge, a Spinning Rapids, Tidal Wave which is guaranteed to get you soaked and Depth Charge, a stingy water slide. The park also has a log flume named Logger's Leap, however it has been closed for the past few years with rumours of it being demolished, so don't expect it to be open when you visit. Alton Towers on the other hand got rid of their log flume to make way for Wicker Man. This means that they only have two water rides, including a Rapids ride which I prefer over the ones at Thorpe, and a Splash Battle ride. So if you're looking to get soaked then head to Thorpe Park. Finally, we enter the last ride category, Dark Rides. Neither park has a massive selection, however that is to be expected, as they never draw the biggest crowds. Thought Park has one Dark Ride, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, which is a virtual reality horror experience, in which riders equip VR headsets and go through various jump scares. Alton Towers offers two Dark Rides, one of which being a laser gun shooter, and the other being combined with a walk through attraction, which explains the local legend. In my opinion, there isn't much difference between the two in, in terms of dark rides, so I'd visit the one with the rides you like the look of the most. The last thing I'm going to discuss is what park you should visit if you have kids or are going as a family. In my opinion, I think you should go to Alton Towers, as they have a dedicated area to children's rides, CBeebies Land, which is themed to the very popular children's TV channel, featuring characters from some of their shows. The park also offers family rides elsewhere in Mutiny Bay and Cloud Cuckoo Land. Thought Park's target audience is thrill seekers more than families, therefore there is a minimal selection of rides for kids. So overall, which park is best? I think both parks are just as good as each other. They are both strong in different areas which balances out well if you compare the two. If you can only visit one, go for the one that sounds the most appealing to you. I hope this video helped you to choose which one to visit or just gave you some more information. Thank you for watching.